Hello and welcome to my channel. I'm James and this morning I'm in Stafford for the Stafford Half Marathon. Really looking forward to this. I've got brother Nick with me again and uh, he's a regular at this half marathon. He's done it about five times and uh, yeah he said how good it is so I'm here to see for myself and uh, see how I get on today. Yesterday was park run. It was a horrible day. It was wet, windy and very cold but I did Wolverhampton Park Run and went for my second sub 25 and pleased to say I got 24.52. I was really happy with that. And a uh, little bit of footage from yesterday's Park Run at Wolverhampton coming up. Just uh, finished the Wolverhampton Park Run at West Park and uh, no vlog today because uh, the weather was really bad and uh, I'm doing Stafford Half Marathon tomorrow so I wanted to uh, save the film until then and you've seen enough Park Run videos. If you want to see this one when I did it back in August then uh, there's a card above so you can uh, see that one. Yeah so I just finished and uh, I wanted to try and get another sub 25 today at Park Run just to prove to myself that the one time I did it three weeks ago at Isabel Trail wasn't actually a fluke and I could do it again. So I'm pleased to say that it hurt but I've just dipped under 25 minutes for the second time. Onto the Stafford Half vlog. See you in a bit. Today is all about Stafford Half Marathon. I'm not even going to go into times or say what I'm aiming for or not aiming for because <laughs> I've done that the last few times, so I'm going to go easy and just enjoy it and end up with a PB. So, no goal. Let's just see what happens. The weather is looking pretty good. It's a bit windy and cold, but it's not raining. And uh, yeah, it's looking a lot better than it has been. So, I'll take it with me. See you in a bit. And look who it is. <laughs> morning, morning vlog fans. It's brother Nick again. Yep, Stafford Half, which is why I'm wearing a London Marathon t-shirt, obviously. Go figure. Um, but yes, Stafford Half Marathon is today on St. Patrick's Day. It is, yeah. And we're uh, in the shopping centre because it's freezing outside. Yeah. So we're protecting our... We're pretending it's t-shirt weather, whereas actually it is very cold. It's about, I think my weather app said it was about three or four degrees with the wind chill. Um, but the sun is out, we've got beautiful blue skies. And so far, the wind that we had yesterday has dipped, so it is not too bad. I have run this event in far worse conditions than today. And um, yeah, it's looking good. Excellent, you're a regular at this one, aren't you? This will be my sixth Stafford Half Marathon, and it's the first place I ever went sub to. Uh, and it's the place that I've got my current PB, uh, which is 141. So we will see whether or not I can get anywhere near that today. I'd like to think I could, I'm nursing a bit of an injury, but hey, no excuses, let's get out and give it a go. We've got Lizzie here, last year's female winner of the Stafford Half. Hello. How are you feeling today? Okay, cold. You, you're going to defend your title? Try. Give it a good go. We'll see what happens. Good luck anyway. Thank you. Cheers. All right, it is that time. Oh, well, um, yes, <laughs> it is time to head to uh, the starting pen. Head to the uh, speedy pen. Indeed, well, the speedy pen, we shall see. But um, no, this is good. As I say, sun's out. Yeah. And um, looking forward to a fun day in Stafford. You're looking good. Have a good one. And you. So off to the starting pens we go. <laughs> Say hello, Steve. Hello. <laughs> we, we go back a while, don't we? We do, mate. We do. It's sort of this transition from music to uh, to running. I don't know what it is. Good to see you, buddy. Mate, it's age. Yeah, definitely. Good luck. And you, mate. Nice and you. Good luck. See you, bud. <laughs> Let's go. Good to bump into Steve there. 
or music friend. You said you like the camera. Let's follow you. I keep seeing you, don't I? No bugger today, no. No, so it's going to be a sub 1 hour 30 then. Oh, no. I wish. Have a great run. Okay, see you later. See you later. Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow, Mark. Thank Just in between the two lines. Stafford Half Marathon done back at uh, my brother's place now. I will uh, do my little review later because if you've watched this far, you'll know the camera died about five, four and a half miles. So uh, got a bit of race footage at the start, but unfortunately, for some reason, it just died. So I'll get back to you with my little recap as to what happened from there to the finish, and I'll uh, let you know how Nick got on. Brother Nick, how did you get on? Celebrating with my dog. Um, not bad, 1.45. Uh, it wasn't great, it hurt, but um, I am carrying a bit of an injury, so I would take that as a pretty reasonable performance. Um, and I do love Stafford, it's awesome, it's well supported. I missed the torrential hailstorm by about five or ten minutes, so luck was definitely on my side in that respect. Ah, that's a good day. Um, a cracking event, highly recommended. And onwards to Brighton. I just hope I don't get to the bottom of this mysterious leg injury, but um, ah, what the heck, we'll, uh, we'll find a way. Excellent, well done, and uh, Brighton is our next vlog together.
bring it on. Okay, it's two days after the Stafford Half Marathon and had time to reflect on it all. And uh, as you know, the GoPro died at about four and a half miles, which is uh, it's never a good thing. I don't know why it went. I, I thought I had enough battery, but clearly not. It just died. So that got in my head a little bit for about half a mile after. And then I thought, well, there's nothing I can do about it. Let's just crack on with the race. So here's the medal. Really like that. And uh, the T-shirt is, is really as well so yeah got to uh, about five miles and there's a really big hill there and uh, I'm not the best at hills so that sort of slowed me down a bit I knew it was coming the course was quite up and down all the way through and uh, notable hills at five and mile ten I've been pre-warned about those so I knew they were coming so the pace was quite up and down one minute I was sort of sub two half marathon pace on the downhills and the straights and then the next minute I was struggling at 2.15 pace so it sort of varied all the way through but my goal of the race was just to uh, run strong I knew I wouldn't get a PB on that course but I still wanted to get it under 2.10 and just have a nice strong race that was the goal so when I got it out of my head about the GoPro messing up I just focused on what I was doing and there was there was some tough parts there was some bits which were quite exposed to the wind and the wind really picked up during the uh, during the race after I started, and and that was tough, but that that was uh, that was all part of it. Managed to stay pretty strong and focused. Um, the the hill came at mile ten, and it wasn't quite as bad as I thought it was. It did slow me down, obviously, but uh, there was a rewarding downhill after, so it sort of evened out a little bit, and kept going. I felt really tired at the end, but managed two oh seven on the nose, which I was I was really happy with that. And then the weather completely turned just uh, just after I finished and we had hailstones and uh, even stronger winds. So uh, that was all good when we were collecting the t-shirts and walking back to the car. But all in all, Stafford Half, I really, really enjoyed it. Um, I'll probably do it again and yeah, just use it as training and just to, uh, just to keep trying to do the strong half marathons because uh, sub two does still seem like a long way off. I think on a flat, there's a chance I could do it but at the moment sort of maintaining that pace it's uh I'm getting closer to it and uh yeah just got to work hard and uh and when the time's right the sub two half marathon will hopefully happen that's me signing out I hope you've enjoyed the uh the video it's been a bit of a mashup of everything and uh I got quite a bit of footage at the start and the uh, the first part of the race so hoping you enjoyed that give the video a thumbs up if you if you liked it and feel free to subscribe to the channel. It would be great to have you on board for more running related adventures. So until next week, it's over and out. See you later, thanks for watching.